So one of the other things I wanted to talk to you about, Ronda Rousey's been um, back in the news again. Uh, you know, she went to the WWE. I think that was a trend that you started, Dan, uh, being in the MMA and then going to the WWE. But she well, was talking. I, but mine was just a little bit different in terms of that my very first profession was professional wrestling as right. of the 1992 Olympics. Usually didn't even exist at then, not until I think December 1993 was UFC 1 uh, launched. So I didn't know it existed because, again, uh, the era of pay-per-views, the internet, very poor at that time. And, again, people people back in that 93, 94 time period, they went to movie theaters at, in major cities in order to watch a pay-per-view, whereas today – you can watch it on your laptop. You can watch it on your cell phone. The conveniences are there. That's okay. But what I, I, I tend to berate Americans just because they are a little bit on the, the, the lazy and the illiterate side. They don't know their own history. And that's where it's kind of going. And again, it's not that I'm trying to be mean. I always say that you better understand your roots a little bit because otherwise – History will repeat itself. Learn from your mistakes. I'm, I'm just curious your thoughts on uh, one of the comments that she made that uh, Rhonda said she believes she is the greatest fighter of all time. Well, she may be able to claim that as a female. Oh, oh, oh gee, did I say something gender specific? Oh, my. Oh, my. Will the, will the social media please go, oh, Bad boy, Danny, for saying <laughs> such a bold statement that is factual. <laughs> so you're saying she wouldn't be able to claim that if she identified as a male? Um, no. <laughs> no. 